Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a sustainable activewear shop that I thought I would share with you guys. Since we've been in lockdown, fitness has become a huge, huge priority to me. I'm roughly working out three to four times a week for around two hours at a time. I'm about a month in, and I've come to realize that I don't actually have much fitness wear at all. I think I own three leggings, three sports bras. They are hard to buy, so I'm not surprised there. And maybe two tops, sports tops. So I'm really low. And since I'm obviously losing a bit more weight and toning, these things are slowly starting to get bigger and bigger for me. I definitely needed to buy some bits and I'm obviously reaching out for sustainable brands and I'm so excited to get in today's video. So before we get started guys, please remember to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so that you get notified. Every time I post a video, I post every Sunday and as soon as you've done that, we can crack on with today's video. I'm just gonna scoot over a bit so I can fit in the thumbnail here of me wearing the pieces. So a lot of my bits today are from a brand called Girlfriend Collective. And before I get into this, guys, I just wanna say how hard it was to find any sizes in any of the styles across any shopping platform. I've never found it so difficult. So because of that, I had to kind of get whatever I could. I've ended up getting quite a few different sizes, which on the plus side, because I've never worn or tried this brand is good because I can gauge what size will fit best for me. But also annoying because I've obviously tried them on and some bits don't fit me. So I'm gonna have to wait patiently for pieces to come back in in order to have full sets. With that being said, I'm gonna jump straight in to the first set. I've bought a lot of sets. So this one is such a gorgeous color, guys. I love this color. It's this teal color. And this is the compressive high rise leggings in the color Vine. I ended up getting the leggings in these in a size medium, which I could normally get away with, but I suppose since I am working out a lot more, I'm only getting smaller. So a medium long term isn't gonna be best for me because I want these things to last me rather than only wear them for a few months. Before I show you me wearing this, I'll quickly show you the top as well. So this is the matching top in a sort of high neck halter neck style with a cross back, which is adjustable as you can see on both sides. And I have put it to the tightest. I think because I got it in a large. I would have normally got a medium, but the large was the only one that was closest to my size that I could get. So I thought I'd try out in a large. And as you guys can see, the top is slightly big for me. It has got good coverage over the breasts, but when it comes to the to the band, it it's loose on me. So there's not much support there. So I would definitely go for the medium. But fit-wise and comfort, it's so comfortable. I love the color, like I mentioned. And you have the option to adjust the straps. I've just actually seen that you can take them off and probably just put them like that as well, rather than cross back. Obviously, having it cross back makes it tighter, which in this case, and with this size, is necessary for me. If I did it the other way, it would just be far too loose. But I would definitely, definitely wear a medium in the top. The bottoms as well, these are a medium, like I mentioned, I would definitely size down to a small, although they fit me around the legs, the waist is just too big for me. And while I'm jumping about exercising, they would just keep slipping down. So I would size down one. But overall, I love the color, I love the style. The fabric is lovely. This fabric is 79% recycled polyester and it's made with 25 post-consumer water bottles per pair and uses half the electricity to produce their new polyester. I'm also so impressed with the quality. They are not see-through whatsoever. They are a good thickness without feeling too heavy. And also, I haven't shown you, but it has a little slip pocket on the back where the 
tag is hiding in there, which is quite nice. Um, but there you can put your keys, money. You won't fit a phone in there. That's the only pocket on the leggings. I'm not a huge fan of pockets all over leggings. So that's just enough for some small bits you may need. These ones are a slightly cropped -a version on me, not so cropped because I'm not so tall. But I think if you were a bit taller, these would come slightly more cropped. Definitely gonna keep my eyes open for my sizes to come back in stock in this color because I just think it's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. So next up is a similar set and I'm so gutted because I couldn't get the leggings on. The only size they had in the leggings available was a double XS. And I don't know what I was thinking, but with some brands, they're super stretchy. You can squeeze your tush in, but I definitely <laughs> couldn't. But I'm obviously going to show you it. So these are the bottoms. Look how teeny they are. <laughs> they're so small. But look at the colour. I have to say the colours this brand does are just so beautiful and it's really what attracted me to the brand. These are the leggings and these are called the Compressive High Rise Legging Long. So these ones are a longer one than the ones before. The, the ones before, like I mentioned, are a bit more shorter, a bit more cropped. And the colour is Periwinkle. And these are a double XS, which is why they are not on me. I got the matching top in a medium which is my size and it's the same top as the one before in that same color periwinkle so i've popped it on with my lulu lemon leggings which i love um and i need to get a new pair of this is the issue like i have two pairs of these black ones one of them is now too big for me and this one i can feel is slowly starting to fall down while I'm working out. So I know that's a sign that I need to size down. I popped them on so you can see the top as well. And you can see the medium fits me so much better. I have to say with this brand in comparison to like Lululemon, Lululemon is so stretchy, which is why I think I would pick up smaller sizes in the Lululemon than I would the Girlfriend Collective. The Girlfriend Collective hasn't got as much stretch so you really need to get your size. You're not squeezing into anything with this. And with the bottoms, I think a small is the smallest I will be able to go. I wouldn't be able to go to extra small just now because there's a very little stretch. But I love the color, which is an issue because now I like both of these colors. So I don't really know which one to get. What do you guys think? The teal? Or the blue let me know in the comments below i really need your help because they're so nice and the lululemon leggings are called align they are amazing they're so good um i have them in a size four but i would go that's a us four um and i would size down to a us two when i do next purchase but they are like i said they're so comfortable they're stretchy they stay up and you always need a black pair of leggings in your collection. Next up is another pair of leggings from Girlfriend Collective. So I'm looking for like a nude legging, like a skin color legging. It's so hard to find. And although online they kind of look like they're gonna be the color you're looking for, when they arrive, they're not quite. So this is like a, I don't even know what color is it? What is it described as? It is described as rose quartz a bit more of a blush color which is nice but it's not what i'm looking for this is the i think this is the same style as the last pair yeah it's the compressive high rise legging i got these in a medium because that's all that there was available and you can see they're just slightly too big for me they're not very flattering on me um but i put them on so you guys can see I've teamed them up with this sports bra. This is from Lululemon. I can't remember. I'll show you the back. It's crisscrossy at the back. I can't remember what style this was, but I will find it and I'll link it in the description box below. It's not a high impact sports bra. This isn't something I would do jumping jacks in, but it's lovely for yoga and low impact exercise. And I always like a mixture 
of different sports bras in my collection. But the Lululemon sports bra is so comfortable, it's so flattering. I, again, I can't remember what size it was, but I will have a look and then I will link it in the description box below. They come in so many colors and they're so comfortable. I've probably said that a hundred times, but I just, Lululemon is just so comfortable. It's literally second skin. It's amazing. I'm afraid I won't be looking for this one in my size because it's just not the color that I'm looking for. It's a lovely color. It's just not the color I'm looking for. Next up is something very new to me. I've never owned one of these before or tried one on until today. It is a unitard. All in one. This is from Girlfriend Collective 2 and I saw it and I thought, why not give it a go? It isn't something I would normally pick up, but since we're in lockdown, my style has had to accommodate that. I thought I would try this out. It does come in a few colors, but I thought I would get the black. So it's their Unitard in black, and I got it in a size small, which I think is my true size on Girlfriend Collective, and it fits me like a glove, as you can see. It does come in other colors, but I just wanted to get the black so that I could get the most out of it and I could wear it as loungewear as well. So like team it up with a cardigan, some chunky trainers, um, even with my slippers around the house. It, I, it could just be quite versatile, which is what I wanted. Oh, hello, Tommy. Tommy, have you come to join us? So Tommy has decided to plonk himself right behind me. As long as you're quiet, Tommy. I have to say, I actually really like it. It's very comfortable. And I can imagine when you're working out in this, it must be so comfortable because you're jumping about and nothing is riding up or falling down, which I think is amazing. The only thing I would say is that the neckline is really narrow for me personally. I feel like the straps just needed to be a bit further apart. It's not a big deal. Um, you can actually pull it up more so it's it, it, it looks more like that rather than cleavagey. So it doesn't bother me. It's a very small issue. Other than that, I love this. I think I want to keep it. What do you guys think? It's made me want to shop for more unitards. I don't like that word, unitard. I want to call it a jumpsuit, but is it a jumpsuit? I don't know, but it makes me want to have a look at more of these active wear one pieces. I could just do so much with them, so much with them. Yeah, this is a winner for me. So let me know what you guys think. Do you like it? Is this something you would buy? Is this a vibe, guys? Let me know, comment below. And I'm gonna move on to the last piece, but it's such a nice piece. I came across this as I was shopping and thought, I have to see what this is about. The last thing I wanna show you guys is this. You're probably thinking, what is that? <laughs> guys, this is a yoga mat handbag. And I'm gonna show you. So this is my yoga mat. It doesn't come with it. I'm gonna pull it out. So this is what it looks like without the yoga mat inside. And as you can see, it's got a big hole so you can slip your yoga mat into and secure it. I just thought this was such a cute way of transporting your yoga mat. This is from a brand called Saya. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is their Emmeline yoga bag in color midnight. And I'll just show you guys how it works if I can. So these are little clasps. And you just open that up and then you have two straps to secure the mat so you slip your mat into there you secure the mat down and then you close it i've put it on so you guys can see i just think it's so stylish i absolutely love it it's got um a handle here if you just want to hold it like that and it's also got a shoulder strap that's definitely how I would wear it most of the time, but it's nice to have the two options. And then at the back, you've actually got a zip and a pouch for your bits. And in this bit, there's a card holder as well. So you can keep all your valuables nice and safe. You don't need any other bag. You just need this bag when you're going to your yoga class or wherever you're going. It also comes really beautifully packaged. It comes in a nice box. 
and it has a dust bag too for you to store it away in. Oh, I forgot to show you guys because obviously a yoga mat is quite heavy. You have this piece that you secure onto the strap so that it makes it more comfortable on your shoulder. So you would have it like that. I just think this is so cute. It's just so adorable. I think it comes in a few other colors. I'm not sure. I'll link it all below. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Is it something that you would wear? Is it something that you would use? Let me know below. Saya is actually a British brand based in London. And I just cannot believe that it is vegan and sustainable. The leather is a really high quality vegan leather. I just, you would not know. I just, you honestly just would not know. It's so, so lovely. And with everything that's purchased from this brand, you help their initiative to put marginalized girls into schools. Inspired by female empowerment, Sire is based on a Native American world that means a woman who wins. And it represents a woman who is strong, beautiful, and kind. Yes, I love it. So they are on a mission to empower women. And I am all about that. What a lovely way to end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. I hope you liked what I shared. What did you like? What didn't you like? Those of you that are more familiar with the Girlfriend Collective brand, let me know if there's any pieces that you think I should try out. Hopefully things come into stock. I don't know, things are crazy right now. Nothing seems to be coming into stock, but I will keep a lookout and let you guys know. But before I let you go, please remember to subscribe to my channel, guys. It means the world. And if you're not following me on Instagram, come say hey. It's at Honestly Alessandra. I love hearing from you guys. So make sure you do. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye, guys. Tommy says bye too. Say bye, Tommy. Say bye. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye.